Lesson 5.1, Nth Roots and Rational Exponents. Roots. If a squared equals b, then a is a square or second root of b. This is a squared, so a is, the, is whatever we had a square to get b, then a is that square root. If a to the n equals b, then a is the nth root of b, again, like that. We often write these as radicals, so here are the parts of a radical. This is the cube root of 64. The little check mark thing is called a radical sign. The number inside of it is called the radicand. And the number up in the little hook is the index. The index tells you which root, so this is a third root or cube root of 64. Sometimes the exponents can be rational or fractions. So b raised to the 1 over n, so 1 over n is all the exponent. It's the same thing as the nth root of b. So the denominator of the exponent is the same as the index of the radical. It's the same if there's more. So the denominator is the index, and the numerator stays an exponent. So b to the m over n is the same as the nth root of b to the m, or the nth root of b to the m. The order doesn't matter, but the denominator is the index. So let's try this. 36 to the 1 half. Well, that's the same thing as, that would be the index. Well, that's the square root of 36. When there is no index, it's a square root, or a 2. If there is no index, the index is 2. And the square root of 36, of course, is 6. Let's try a couple more. 1 eighth to the negative 1 third. Well, let's see. The negative means reciprocal the base. So the reciprocal of 1 eighth is 8. And then the denominator of the exponent is 3. So that is the index for our root, our radical. So it is the third root, or the cube root of 8, which is 2. If you put it in your calculator, you're probably going to have to hit second and then a button that looks like that. So on mine, I'll hit, I'll put in three, and then that button, and then eight, and it gives me two. Let's try another one. Okay, that is the index. So again, it's a cube root. And the 4 could be either inside on the 27 or outside on the whole thing. I don't know 27 to the 4th power, so I'm going to put it on the outside like that. Because I do know the cube root of 27. The cube root of 27 is 3. And 3 to the 4th is 81. So how do we use a calculator? The square root x, or just square root key, is for the square roots. And depending on your calculator, you're going to either hit the radicand first, and then the square root key, or the key, and then the radicand, depending on your calculator. Most calculators are going towards the second way. Now let's see, have an older calculator. All right, and then there's three options for all the other roots. Uh, the one that's colored is the most common. And usually you have to put in the index, and then that button, and then the radicand. It's usually, sometimes it's the other way around. So you have to try it with your own calculator to see. So let's try it with the fourth root of 100. 
So my calculator, I'm putting a 4, and then I'm going to hit that button, which is usually second, and then press that, and then the 100. And when I put that in my calculator, I get about 3.16. Make sure you can get it in your calculator. Try it right now. We're going to be solving some equations with exponents. So what we do is we isolate the exponent term, and then we take the root of both sides, where the index is the same as the exponent. If the index is even, we have to remember to put plus and minus, because if you square negative, it becomes positive. So if you have that positive number and you need to get the square roots, you don't know whether it's positive or negative. It's actually both. It could be both. Then finish solving and check your answers. Always check your answers. So let's solve this equation, and we're going to round it to two decimal places if necessary. All right. Well, to get the x by itself, it's 5 times x, so we'll divide both sides by 5. So we'll get x cubed. You work with the things furthest away or least connected to the x, and the um, multiplying is loosely connected compared to square roots, or not squares, to cubes. All right, and then we need to get rid of that 3, so we'll have to cube root. Now this is an odd root, so I do not need the plus and minus. Cube root is 64 is 4. Let's try another one. All right, now the most outside thing from the x is the 4. So we're going to start by taking the fourth root of both sides. Now when we do that, we need to remember the plus and minus because this is an even root. The fourth root and the fourth exponent cancel out. And I've got the fourth root of 24, which isn't anything nice. Um, let's go ahead and finish solving for x, so I'll subtract 3. We have that, and it said round to two decimal places if necessary. So negative 3 plus the fourth root of 24 is negative 0 0.79. If we use the minus, we get negative 5.21. And of course, we should check our answers by plugging them back in.